Hello there and welcome to another video here on the Aqua Open Source YouTube channel. My name is Anais and in this video we're going to look at Trivi, specifically the new top level command Trivi SBOM. To generate SBOMs for container images, file systems and repositories. Just quickly, what is Trivi? Trivi is a simple but comprehensive open source vulnerability scanner for your container images, your file systems and your GitHub repositories. It can also scan your file systems for misconfigurations, as well as your infrastructure as code configuration files, such as think about Docker file or Terraform configuration files for misconfigurations. Here's just a quick overview of what Trivi can do for you through the CLI. Just quickly, if you do prefer the written version over the video tutorial, the blog post to everything that I'm going to share in this video is linked below. Check out the blog post if you prefer the written version or if you would like to have a point of reference. To follow the examples in this video tutorial, you have to get to the documentation, the getting started guide, and here you will find several different installation options depending on your operating system. Now in this tutorial, we're going to cover how you can generate SBOMs through Trivi. Now what is an SBOM? With the growing awareness around supply chain security in this space, SBOMs have become the industry-wide standard for creating basically an inventory list of everything, all of the libraries, components, packages, dependencies, everything that goes within your software, your platform, basically the product that you're using. Now, all of those dependencies could either be paid for or free. They could be open source or proprietary. Now the SBOM has several advantages. First of all, you can share it with third parties. So you can basically share the SBOM with other people and say like, here is a list of everything that goes into my product. This means if you have access to an SBOM of a product, you can make an informed decision whether you want to use that product or not. Also over time, an SBOM will kind of give you the guideline of how the product is evolving from a security perspective. Currently, there are two main formats that are used to generate SBOMs. The first one is the Software Package Data Exchange, or in short, SPDX. There's also SPDX Lite. SPDX is an ISO standard that's hosted by the Linux Foundation and is used to outline the different components, licenses, and copyrights that are used within your software package. Now, the second one is Cyclone DX. Cyclone DX is an open source, lightweight SBOM standard that's used primarily within application security as well as supply chain analysis. It originated from the Open Web Application Security Project, or in short, OWASP. Now, I just quickly want to highlight that with Trivi, it was already possible for a long time to create inventory lists of your software packages, of all the different components, the different dependencies, and the different vulnerabilities that go into your software packages, into your um, deployments, right? Now, <laughs> we've added Trivi SBOM as a top level command so you can easily generate SBOMs for your software packages in the Cyclone DX format. Cyclone DX is the first format that we're adding to Trivi. However, support for additional formats is already planned, so stay tuned for those and let us know what you would like to see in Trivi in the near future. Okay, so I'm here in my terminal and if I type Trivi, I can now see that I have Trivi SBOM accessible through the terminal, through the CLI, through the Trivi CLI. As you can see, I'm on Trivi version 0.25.4. You want to make sure you're at least on version 0.25.0. If you type Trivi version, you can see which version you're on. Amazing. Now we want to go ahead and we want to use Trivi SBOM. If you type Trivi SBOM, you will get several different options to generate SBOMs, for example, for your container images. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to create an SBOM for this container image. Now it's quickly going to download my database since I haven't done that within the past hours. And here's our SBOM. As you can see, it's not really displayed in a human readable format. SBOMs are supposed to be machine readable. So what I can do with Trivi, I can Ignore the beginning part that basically tells me that it's updating the database and so on, what I just showed you. And then I can pipe the output into JLess or JQ. That would work. And here we go. Now I have access to the different components of my SBOMP, right? So I can see my different dependencies of that container image. I can see the different components that go into that container image, right? And I can filter through. Okay, so I'm here within the Trivi repository and there's an examples directory where we have a go testing program. So basically the different files, they go into a just a 
simple Go up test application, right? And we want to scan that and create an S bump for this Go app, right? So we can do this with Trivi S bump and then the artifact type flag and then file system at the end. So FS just stands for file system. You can also write it out as file system. And with the artifact type flag, we can then also scan uh, GitHub repositories Git repositories or file systems and create an S bump for those. So we're just going to scan the current directory, the current repository or go app, and we're going to create another S bump. Now what we can do again is also to scan with trivi and then dash Q S bump and the rest of the command and then pipe everything through Chalas. And now we can see everything that goes into that go app. So we can see the different components. We can see the different dependencies that this app is dependent on <laughs> listed, which are quite a few. And then we can also see the different vulnerabilities that are within this application, right? Everything is listed here. So you can, with Chalas, you can just kind of filter through really easily if that's what you want to do. Now, usually you would want to create S bumps and keep them as like a machine readable format before you do something else with them, right? So you can go ahead and you can create an S bump and you can place an output of like test.json. Okay. So we're going to pipe it into a test.json file. And then we have in here, now this might not be the best example, we have our test.json file and we can output our test.json file as well. And here again, we have our SBOM. Now the next thing you can do is to also scan with SBOM and the artifact type flag our GitHub repository. It could be a Git repository, any Git repository. So in this case, we're going to scan the TriviCI test repository on the Aqua Security Organization account. And it's going to create an S bump for those. So before you're using any third party repository, you can go ahead and you can create kind of this inventory list of what's actually going into that Git repository before you're using it. Now I want to share another feature with you that just came out. If you are on the beta version of Docker desktop on the dashboard, you can go ahead and you can see here on the side an extension section. Okay. So you can go to the marketplace and here you will find Trivi. Now you can install Trivi and then open Trivi. You will see it then after you install it here on the left hand side. So you can open Trivi app and then you will find here all of your container images that you have locally. So you can select any of the container images to scan right here. In my case, I'm going to use my React example app 9.0.0 container image and I want to scan it for vulnerabilities. So I'm going to go ahead and scan it for vulnerabilities. As you can see, there are two critical vulnerabilities and seven high vulnerabilities. Now I can filter the different types of vulnerabilities. And then also right here through Docker desktop, I can generate an S bomb output. Here we go. This is it for this video. I hope it was useful. If it was, please hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for upcoming videos. Linked below is the Trivi GitHub repository. Do check out Trivi, give it a star on GitHub. It would mean a lot to us and to the community, to all of the contributors. It's an open source tool. <laughs> also check out Trivi for container image scanning, to check your container images for vulnerabilities, to check your Git repositories for vulnerabilities, your file systems for vulnerabilities and misconfigurations, as well as your infrastructure is code for vulnerabilities and misconfigurations. Link below is also an overview on Trivi that shows additional features in case you're curious and want to explore it more. Also link below is a link to our Slack channel. Do join the community. Let us know if there's any content you would like to see, if you have any questions, any feedback. We would love to hear from you. I really hope to see you in one of our upcoming videos. Have an amazing day. Bye bye.